What's up, internet? Naingganyo kayo sa Asurix RX580 video natin. And naingganyo si Asurix and naingganyo kayo. So in a virtual cycle, they sent over a new GPU, the 5500 XT. I don't mean new na bagong labas. The 5500 XT is a known quantity. 2019 pa siya lumabas. And this is a sponsored video, but nothing I say here will be controversial or new since very available naman yung information about this particular card. It's a good mid-range card. It will play most modern games at 1080p at mid to high settings without any problems. It's slightly slower than a 1660, but significantly faster than a 1650. And this is the 8GB version of the card. There's sometimes a 4GB version, but you know, at this price range, you might as well go with the extra VRAM. You never know when you want to kick up the resolution a bit, and the extra VRAM will come in handy then. So very similar to the RX 580, na yung value proposition ni Isurix is that, yes, this isn't a cutting edge card, but if it fits the kind of games that you need, if it fits the performance that you need, then it's a very good card for its price. And first things first with the card itself, it does have a 8-pin power connector now. Unlike yung sa RX 580 dati, nabanggit ko na very sensible siya for budget builds kasi di mo na kailangan ng power connector. It feeds directly from the motherboard. Not the case with the 5500 XT. You do need an 8-pin power connector. But just like I mentioned with the other card, the RX 580, this 5500 XT has a lot of ports. So sulit siya, especially if you're going to be using multiple monitors. May three display ports siya and one HDMI. Four is pretty much the standard for high-end cards and it's nice to see the same number in a mid-range card like this. The cooling element also seems pretty solid. Hanggang dito lang yung actual card and then the actual total length of the card, one-fifth of that is taken up just by the cooling element. And also in a nice quality touch, Asurix has put a backplate. Yung ibang budget cards kasi paminsan nakita mo, basically naked na to, kita mo na yung circuit board. Uh, just as an added layer protection, a backplate is always appreciated. Gives the card a bit more spine. You don't need to be worried too much about weight. But just as a sign of quality, there is a decent backplate to this card. So this card should do very well in 1080p gaming for most games at mid to high settings. But as always, we won't take the manufacturer's word for it. We're gonna test drive it and let's do that now. We ran the 5500 XT against the exact same games as we did the RX 580. So it's easier to compare if you want to spend the extra cash for the 5500 XT. All of these games were tested at 1080p max settings. First game up is League of Legends where we saw a max frame rate of 235 with an average frame rate of 188. That's around 20% faster than what we saw from the RX 580 which had an average FPS of 158. Next up, Monster Hunter World hit a max frame rate of 72 with an average frame rate of 62.5. Slightly higher than a 20% increase, similar performance gain from what we saw in LoL. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider, max FPS was 123 and the average was 70 FPS. That's an impressive 50% gain for the 5500 XT over the RX 580. So with the more expensive card, you're going to see at least a gain of at least 20% and that's substantial, with possibly even more improvement depending on the title. Pero hindi lang naman performance yung consideration dito. This is a mid-range card stacking up against the budget RX 580. So mahalaga rin tingnan yung presyo. The RX 580 currently goes for around 4,700 with the 5500 XT going for around 7,000 to 7,500. In short, the 5500 XT goes for around 50% more than the RX 580. This is a steep jump but the performance gains with the more expensive card are quite clear. At the end of the day, ikaw lang ang makakasabi if worth it ba yung mas mahal na 5500 XT. Personally, I would consider it if long-term yung view ko for the computer. Yung tipong gagastos ka ng mas mahal ngayon, pero hindi mo na balak palitan yung hardware for say the next 3 years. In that case, the 5500 XT is an excellent value proposition. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. 
Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.